Well, hey friends, welcome back to Waterview Mountain. Another beautiful day, probably about 55 degrees, a little breezy, so if the audio is bad, I apologize in advance. Um, today, another small project. I know a lot of you are probably thinking, what on earth, when is this guy actually gonna do some work? Get up back on the mountain. This weekend, we're going to the mountain, we're gonna do some work. It's a real busy time of season for everybody, I'm sure. Thanksgiving, Christmas coming up, COVID, I had a birthday, we retired, I went hunting in Pennsylvania, just busy, busy. Uh, so in the meantime, just a couple small projects. Today's project, we're gonna upgrade our water system uh, that we transport up to the camper uh, at Waterview Mountain. Speaking of the camper, we still haven't gotten any recommendations for names, so leave us some recommendations down in the bottom. So uh, let's see what we can get into today. See if we can transform this 55 gallon drum into something with a spigot on it so it's a little more usable than what we're currently doing. So. If you're new here, thanks for coming and checking us out. My wife and I love to share little projects here in suburbia, projects we're doing up at Waterview Mountain, which is what we call the land where we're eventually gonna build our dream cabin by ourselves. Then also we share our projects here in suburbia uh, where, we, where we live now uh, as we improve our house here so that when we eventually turn around and sell it, we can increase our profit. So. If you're new, thanks for coming. If you're coming back, thanks for coming back. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe. Over there, I think, is where the bell icon is. Hit that so you know when we post new content. We try to post something every week uh, just to keep you updated on what we're, uh, what we're into. So uh, stick around, grab you something to drink, and let's see if we can turn this into something usable. So what are we working with? First off, we got a food grade 55 uh, gallon drum with a removable lid. So the lid comes off as opposed to the ones that have a hole in it. Uh, a little bit easier to work with, especially when I'm trying to put the spigot in. Of course, we have our spigot. Not really a traditional spigot. Uh, what we have is a bulkhead fitting here, okay? That this will go onto here, as you'll see in a minute. And then we just have a three quarter inch stopcock coming out and then this end will connect directly to the uh, to the hose. So it should be pretty easy beasy. What I have is an inch and a half drill bit, which is just a titch smaller than the inside of these threads. I don't know if you can see that, let's zoom in there. So it's, it's just a titch smaller than the threads because I want that thing to be tight as a tick when I put it through that hole. Of course, I got some wrenches, I got some pipe dope, Something that I don't think I've seen on YouTube, but Blake gave me the idea, right? I have a round barrel and I have a flat bulkhead fitting to go onto a round barrel. I see a lot of people complain that when they do this, it leaks. Well, of course it leaks. You got a round barrel and you got a flat bulkhead fitting. Yeah, you can put some washers in there and some other stuff, but they're only gonna compress so much and because this is round, it's not gonna completely compress. So what we're gonna try to do is I'm gonna take this heat gun and I'm gonna try to warm up this spot. Now, on this particular barrel, there's already a, a, a slightly flat spot right about here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find that spot again. Right about there. And I'm gonna check my bulkhead fitting to see Yep, right about there. And I'm gonna put an X. Now, yeah, granted, you can see that X there. I'm gonna have a little bit of extra down here, but that's okay. I'm not trying to get every drop out of this barrel. I'm just trying to use it to refill the camper when we get up there. The camper's only got a 25 gallon freshwater tank. So every time we go up there, I don't even need all 55 gallons. Uh, unless we stay for an extended period of time. And if it gets to that point, then I'll just tip it over and we'll get the rest out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat this up and I'm gonna try to push it flat a little bit with some two by fours or something uh, and see if we can't flatten this out a little so I get a nice good seal with my bulkhead fitting because on the inside it already has, it has a rubber gasket on the inside. I don't know if you can see that or it's blurry, but it's got a rubber gasket. So the more we can flatten this out, the better seal we're gonna get and less pipe dope I'm gonna have to use. So uh, let me get this heat gun fired up and let's see what we can do. 
All right, let's try from this angle and see if you can see what I'm talking about better. So a little bit of a flat spot right here. I'm gonna take this heat gun. I'm just gonna heat this plastic up here. Now you can see, we got a nice little flat spot right there. Right beside my X. I missed the X a little bit, but that's okay. I'll take what I can get. But that's sitting nice and flush right there. So now I'm gonna work my inner circle. so I know where I'm trying to go. Then I'm gonna get the drill, and we're gonna drill it up. All right. Nice and straight. There we go. Now I'll use my trusty little pocket knife, clean up those edges. the burrs off. And then let's see how this bulkhead fitting comes on through. Just a hair too small. No, that might work. Let's see. No, I'm gonna shave just a little bit off. That should be fun. You know what? I'm going to use my knife instead. that does it. Oh, if I can get those threads to catch, we're in business. She goes. little bit of the same stuff we used on the well so it's food grade food safe human tolerant pipe dope I'm just line this inside of here just to help complete the seal even though it should all be sealed from the inside gasket 
but just in case. A little extra pipe dope, never hurt. Feel the gasket on the inside. That's nice and flush. You just have to take my word for it. I'll take a picture of it. Nice and flush on the inside. Get my excess pipe dope off of here. For no reason whatsoever, because I'm just gonna put some more on this before I slide it in there. too tight you don't want to crack the plastic but you want to get it till it's snug right there there we go easy breezy lemon squeeze all right now let me go grab the hose we'll fill this bad boy up and see if she works well all right there you go you see it I got the water level up to about here um, got no leak in here around this gasket no leak in here now time will tell if this is gonna hold up or not. Uh, I, I, I feel pretty good about it. This bulkhead fitting is, is pretty tight. Uh, of course, you can open that up. We got water. Just like I said, with this three quarter inch fitting, you can just hook a hose on here. Now, of course, this is not This is just a regular hose fitting. Now, of course, this is to the, to the poop clean out that I haven't used yet, but it's clean. Um, no leaks, everything looks good. So there you have it, friends. If, if, you're, if you're in need of uh, transporting some water, large volumes, 55 gallons, get you a food grade barrel. I think I picked this one up for $18. Uh, the bulkhead fitting was probably about the same price. I think it was like 14 or 15 bucks. A couple bucks for the uh, uh, little three quarter inch connecting pieces here. Uh, and then I think a couple bucks for this stopcock. But simple project, of course, if you already have a drill and the right size drill bit, uh, that always helps. But if you're trying to figure out how do I get a flat piece of plastic on a round piece of plastic, that heat gun's the way to go. Like I said, I'll let you know if it fails in the future. Um, I don't think it will though. This is on there tight as a tick and it's holding water real well. I'm, I'm real happy. So uh, again, thanks for checking us out. We're absolutely blessed to be able to do this, to be able to share our journey with you on YouTube. Uh, it's an amazing journey for us because I'm just figuring this stuff out as we go. Same as Sean. I'll read something, I'll watch some YouTube videos, uh, and we'll try to figure something out. 
So thanks for hanging with us. Thanks for coming back and checking us out. If you're coming back, if it's your first time, go back and check out our other videos. Uh, they'll probably be over here. Uh, and uh, as always, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the little bell icon over there. I'm learning. I'm learning. I told you I'm trainable. And thank you so much for traveling along with us on our journey. Uh, like I said, it's we're, we're truly blessed uh, by Jesus, especially during this time of the season. Um, so Merry Christmas early. And uh, as always, be safe. We'll see you next time.